Hi, my name is Mike Tyus. I'm a dancer choreographer from Los Angeles, California. I'm one of the designers and creators of My Body as an Instrument. Hi, my name is Luca Renzi. I am a choreographer, dancer, and visual artist. I'm a co-creator for My Body as an Instrument. My Body as an Instrument came from a desire to collaborate with instrument of things. So this company makes these sensors that you mount onto your body, on your wrists and your ankles, and anytime you move in space it creates music. So basically what we're doing is allowing the body to speak louder than the music itself, and the main driver for this work in this creation was the motion. <laughs> Because this technology was new to us and working with Ableton, we brought on a sound designer named Chris Say, who helped us map out the show. Um, throughout the show, the sensors constantly change the sound, and that is being done by the stage manager, and that was all designed and prepped by our awesome sound designer. I was really inspired with the idea of what the human body could be other than a body. So it started with the idea, this idea that a musician would walk out on stage and instead of pulling out a bass or a violin, um, he pulled out a body um, and started trying to create music using the body. Seeing as we had these sensors that would kind of be fun and comical. But it also kind of led us into this tunnel of like, what else is the human body capable of? And the idea that the human body is kind of this tool that can adapt and evolve based on what it needs to do and how it is trained. And I thought that was kind of fascinating. We're running into these parallels with not just the sensors being our musical instruments and our bodies becoming our musical instruments, but the idea of music and dance being quite similar in how they're created. We brought in two really talented movers that we both knew prior that we really love, Lane Paradise Willis and Gretchen Ackerman. They were incredible to work with. This is kind of the next step, is seeing our work on other people and being able to be in the studio with those people, crafting work, having response. It was nice that we got to step outside of the work and also see it from the outside as we watched them do pieces of it that we weren't involved in. So I'm mostly inspired by how you position people in room or in the space given where you perform in or where you create it. The frame you are given is kind of like your playground and then you, you are manipulating that frame in telling either a story or designing an experience in that frame. And that's where these mappings come in, kind of like an architecture that, that builds a map before he even built something. So these maps are inspired by compositional tools that have been around for many years. I'm very inspired by the 60s and 70s when the Judson Church Dance Theater came up in New York, um, postmodernism, and how they took dance fully out of the theater and they just, they were inspired by different mediums of art to bring it into dance, to be the main driver to create this dance piece. 